This is a data set from Holmes, Moody and Dine, Research Methods for the Biosciences. It has two variables, which are food, which is the amount of uh, food supplement that is fed to a particular chicken, or pullet, and it's got a measure of egg hardness. So what you've got is two scalar measurement variables that you want to see if there's a relationship between them. So to look at that, you want to make a graph, which is a scatter plot. So if you go to Chart Builder, then you can pick scatter. In this case, you've got a single variable, and it's not divided into different groups. So you just want to pick the single variable scatter. Um, actually, we could do a single variable with a fit line, uh, because this looks like it might be a good line. So now, you always need to think, what goes along the x-axis? x-axis is going to be your independent variable, your cause, the explanatory variable, the thing that causes the thing, whatever is on y, to happen. So the food is going to cause the eggs to be harder. So food needs to go along the x-axis, and the y-axis needs to be the egg hardness. That's the product, the outcome. The dependent variable. So egg hardness in that one, food in the x-axis, and press OK. So there you get your scatter plot. It's got a line fitted to it. Uh, this is actually slightly bad practice because the line goes beyond the length of the data point. But uh, otherwise, this is pretty much the same as what you would have got if you were doing this in Excel. Apart from it's not giving you the, the equation of the line. But it is telling you that there's a very good fit of the line. So this is the R squared, which is a measure of the correlation. So in this case, I've got a scatter plot, which is drawn a line on it, and there's a good relationship between the two variables.